Hi ladies, it's Kathy, and in today's video I have come up with 10 brand new beauty mistakes that can make you look older. I prefer to look refreshed instead of older. A while back I did a video about 10 fashion mistakes that can age us and it was really popular. So I've done some research and I have come up with 10 brand new beauty mistakes that can make us look older than what we are. There's nothing wrong with getting older, it is a gift, but I prefer to look refreshed. So I'll link the original video here. You can go watch it after this video is done. If you want to know more about how to look refreshed and not older looking, I got you covered. One of the first things that we need to talk about is our skin. And I'm not just talking about the skin on our face. I'm talking about the biggest organ that we have and that is our skin all over our body. And sometimes we forget to take care of it. And as we age, we know that a cell turnover gets really slow. So it's really important we have to give our skin a little boost. And especially in the winter time, if you live in a cold climate, it's cold out, the air is dry, the furnace is on, you know, your skin can get itchy and kind of older looking. So it's really important to remember to exfoliate. So I'm talking about, we know we exfoliate our face, but we also need to exfoliate our body. There are drugstore exfoliators that you can use a couple times a week. Dove makes a great one. I like the one by Skin Fix. Um, there's one by Clinique. There's all kinds of different body scrubs at different price points. So it's really important to remember to exfoliate our body I'd say once to twice a week and to hydrate it every time you get out of the shower or the bath. My favorite body lotion is by Vaseline. It's something like Mature Skin Advanced. I really like it. It's economical and the thing that I like about it, it does help my skin feel moisturized and refreshed but it's not sticky because I like to put my pajamas on right after I put my body lotion on and I don't want to wait around waiting for body lotion to dry or for it to be tacky and sticky. So I really like that one. I also like um, the Josie Moran body butter. That's a nice one. I love the City Beauty body balm. It's a great one. But if you're looking for a budget-friendly option, the Vaseline one, it's really, really good. Something else that can age us if we don't use vitamin C, and vitamin C is great because it helps to reduce redness. It can help age spots look diminished and possibly disappear. And this is something that I have played with on and off um, since turning 50. Sometimes I'll use it, sometimes I won't. I do love skincare, but it's really important, you know, to add vitamin C, a vitamin C serum to your skincare. Because when I do use it, I do notice that darkness and redness in my skin does seem to look a little less noticeable. The next thing that can really help us to look refreshed is hyaluronic acid. I love hyaluronic acid. And this is one ingredient that whenever I introduced it into my skincare routine, I immediately noticed results. I have oily skin, so I never really thought like I need to add more moisture to my skin but that is not so. Any type of skin can be dry, even if you're oily, it can be dehydrated. And what I noticed whenever I would put the hyaluronic acid on, my skin would just feel immediately plumper. It felt just really healthy from within. It really, like it plumps up my cheeks, it gives them a nice glow. It's one of those things that I just, I absolutely love and I will never be without and I use it morning and night. Now I do love skincare and that is one place where I don't mind spending money. I've tried a different hyaluronic acids and the one that I keep coming back to is by PCA Skin. I use it morning and night, one pump for the whole face and then I'll bring it down my neck, which is really important to remember anytime you're doing skincare, you always wanna bring it down to your neck and the back of your hands. And I have to start working on that because I never think to put my skincare on to the back of my hands and you know our hands are made quite telling of our age. Something that can really age us is if we wear our makeup to bed. It is damaging to the skin, it clogs pores and can create wrinkles and wearing makeup to bed can really lead to a dull looking complexion. So it's really important. I know you might be so, so tired when you get home and you just wanna crawl into bed 
Just take five minutes, just wash your face real good, double cleanse it, put a nice moisturizer on and then crawl into bed. And you know, you're gonna be so happy that you just took that time to take care of your skin. Something that I need to work on, I touched on it briefly, is the neck and the decollete area. It's important to use retinol if you can, vitamin C, whatever goes on the face should go on the neck and you know the chest area. I know some people they're very sensitive, they cannot put their retin-A on the neck. Maybe try like a drugstore type retinol cream. At least try that on your neck because it's really going to help your skin look a lot more youthful and it's going to help exfoliate the skin. It's gonna to lead to the new healthy glowing skins underneath. They're gonna become more prominent. And as you, you know, hydrate your skin, you're just gonna see that the texture is gonna change. It's gonna be youthful looking and just a lot more healthier looking. And also remember when you put your sunscreen on your face, bring it down your neck and this area and the back of your hands. This is what I always forget to do is put on the back of my hands. And because of my job as a farmer, I was out in the sun a lot, you know, unloading hay in the hot sun. And I can tell like my hands are looking, you know, older than say what my face looks. So that's something that I wanna work on for this coming year is getting better at remembering to put sunscreen on the back of my hands and also skincare. I was getting ahead of myself because the next tip that I have is to take care of the back of our hands. And another way that we can take care of our hands and help them look a little more youthful and get rid of those age spots is by using red light therapy. I'll link this video when I did a collab with Current Body Skin. I use their LED mask every evening. It's on a 10 minute timer, it shuts itself off. You don't have to do anything. You don't even have to have it plugged into a wall. It comes with a thing, you charge it up. Red light therapy is healing for the skin. And I have been using their hand protector. So what I can do at night is I can just sit on the couch, put my mask on, put the hand protector on my lap. Both of them are set for 10 minutes. They both have automatic timers and they shut off. I did notice that it was working, but then I just got away from doing it. But this is something I'm really going to work on this winter when I'm watching TV, is do that 10 minutes of self-care for my skin. And then I would suggest afterwards, maybe just having some hand lotion, uh, putting that on, and that's really gonna help the back of your hands look a lot younger and refreshed. If you're enjoying my video, would you please subscribe to my channel? I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers, and I know that a lot of you watching have not subscribed. It is 100% free, and it would really help my channel to grow. Thanks. Another tip that I've come up with, I think wearing a lot of foundation can be quite aging. And the older that I get, the less makeup I want to wear. I just want to hide any redness in my skin. I do have mild rosacea. I have sensitive skin. It can be a little more red in the winter than in the spring or summer. So as we age, if we're wearing heavy, cakey foundation, that can really accentuate our pores. It can accentuate any wrinkles that we may have, and it can really make us look a lot older than what we are, and possibly even tired looking, because especially if, if the foundation goes under here, if you have wrinkles, it can really exaggerate those. What I prefer to use is a tinted moisturizer. That really is what I wear most of the time. Today, I'm just wearing a light dusting of the A Cosmetics Powder Foundation and the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzer. That's all that I have on with a little bit of blush. I don't really like the feel of foundation. I never have. So I just get away with just like a tinted sunscreen. I like the one by Ulta MD. First Aid Beauty has one that is nice. Just find one that works for you. For the drugstore, L'Oreal also has a anti redness BB cream. That's really nice. It really does a great job hiding any redness, plus it just blurs out your skin and it just makes your skin just all one nice even look and uh, it does a great job. I would also suggest using your foundation sparingly. Maybe don't put it on all over your face, just try, put some on the back of your hand and then, you know, just put it on with a brush and just lightly go all over your face and just take a really good look and see do you need it in any particular area? And maybe just add it in that spot, kind of like spot treat with your foundation. 
Another thing that can be quite aging is dry or matte lipstick. We need to remember that our lips also should be exfoliated. So I have a little lip scrub that I use from MAC. There's probably other ones out there too. And whenever I think of it, I will put it on my lips before I get in the shower and then just use my finger and give them a really good scrub. And it just helps to get any dead skin cells that may be on them. And it's also important to remember to use like a lip oil. I like the City Beauty um, lip oil. I put that on every night. It's not sticky and it really helps my lips to feel nice and moisturized. I also like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. You might want to use like a lip balm throughout the day. It's just really important to remember that our lip needs some added attention too as we age. And I find that if I wear a matte lipstick, first of all, I don't like the feel. It's very tight and dry feeling. I prefer like a moisturizing lipstick. And 99% of the time, I like a lip gloss. That's what I'm wearing today. This is by City Beauty. It's their watermelon um, City Lips. I love their plumping lip glosses. The next suggestion that I have is to use a flesh toned eyeliner on your bottom waterline. I did that today because it hides any redness. I had been fidgeting around and was having a hard time putting my contacts in and my eyes started to get red and watery. And I thought, oh boy, I need to fix this. Immediately just putting like a nude eyeliner on. I have one by Charlotte Tilbury. You know, there are other ones. I really like the L'Oreal Low Liner eyeliner. Not sure if they have a flesh tone color one, but you might want to check it out. But they're super great. It really just helps to brighten the eyes. And I avoid putting dark eyeliner on my lower eyes anymore. I usually will use like a brown. I like a brown or a navy and I will just put it on my top waterline because I don't wear it every day. Um, I don't like to put eyeliner on my eyelid just because I don't have a lot of space there. So I always just put it on my waterline, but only ever on the top waterline. And I try and avoid black because black can be very harsh and it can be very aging. Another suggestion that I have for you is to use highlighter strategically. I like to put highlighter on top of my cheekbones going upwards. I start about on the outer corner of my eye and then I'll, I'll go up and then I'll put it down the center of my nose. I'll put some here on my cupid's bow. Sometimes I'll just put like a little bit up where my eyebrow is arched. It just is nice because the light just like shines off of those spots and it just like helps to illuminate the face and it just gives like a really youthful, refreshing glow. If you have found my tips helpful, I hope that you will subscribe. Be sure to go check out the original how to avoid style mistakes video here and I'll see you soon. Bye.